Welcome to a Systems for Dentists training video. My name is Graham, and in this session we'll look at how to create treatment completion screens. As is shown in this example, a treatment completion screen appears when an item is completed. It prompts you to document information about that item. In this case, we're completing an x-ray. We select all the relevant information and press save. This is added to our clinical notes, and we can also run a report on the outcome. To create a new treatment completion screen, we go to the tooth in the top left hand corner of the screen and choose the option for setup. If we scroll to the bottom of the screen, under miscellaneous we'll find an option for treatment completion screens. Selecting this presents us with a list of existing screens. If we want to make another, we select new. From the treatment completion screen properties, we can see a box in the top left hand corner. We can resize this box as you would any other window by clicking on the bottom right hand corner and dragging it to the size that we require. When I'm happy with the size of the box, I move to the form option at the top left in order to name it. We will create a treatment completion screen for local anaesthetic. To save this, you click OK. I will now move on and add a combo box. This is a drop down item with multiple options within it. I shall name it LA given and add a caption of LA. I can decide where I want to place this caption. In this case, I'll put it to the left of the drop down menu. If we select required, this means that the performer must choose an item before saving the treatment completion screen. To create items, we click Add. On the Item Properties in the General tab, we will enter text which describes what this item is. In our case, we'll add a type of local anaesthetic. We can continue to do this for more items. You then complete the same actions for every item that you wish to add in this drop down box. When you're happy with your selections, click OK. This places the combo box onto our treatment completion screen window. By clicking on it, you can drag it to where you want it to be. Then, by using the green handles, you can resize it to whatever size meets your needs. If you wish to edit this further, you can double click on the item and it brings up its properties. As I'm happy with my layout here, I will move on and choose the edit option, which allows me to bring up an editable field. In my case, I have already saved an LA dose field. By double clicking on it, I will add it to my treatment completion screen. I will then add a series of other combo boxes which allow me to document the information about the local anaesthetic. These are the batch number and the site. Now that those are done, I've decided to add some checkboxes to confirm that I have completed certain actions. In the checkbox menu, I've already created some items. I will select the LA warning and then place it where I want it to go. If I double click to edit it, you'll see that it has a name and a caption but does not require any further information. I'll then do the same and add another checkbox for pain and post-operative care advice. With all of the items in place on the screen, I can choose the order that they're recorded in the patient's notes. When I'm happy with this screen, I will select Save. Next, we need to add the treatment completion screen to an item. I select the items icon and then search for the item that I want to edit. In this case, I'll choose a root filling. On the root fillings properties, we select the custom screen drop down and choose the option for local anaesthetic. With the option saved, we'll move back to our patient and add a root filling to the treatment plan. When we click to complete this item, we're presented with the treatment completion screen we have just created. The performer can then select the options and fill in the drop downs as required. And when they save this, it is added to their notes. It is also possible to report on this, but we will cover that in another video. Thank you for watching. For more videos and FAQs, please see our website. For any other questions or support requests, don't hesitate to call.